Welcome to this session on modeling concrete beams. Our design continues with adding the concrete beam framing for floor one. We'll use the by grid option for the placement option. We'll set the floor selector to locate the tops of the beams at the correct Z elevation. And we will also utilize the automatic end trim option to trim the face of the beams to the columns. Ensure that the floor selector is set to floor one. From the ribbon interface, Structural tab, Structural Elements group, select the Concrete Beam tool. The property panel opens, showing the catalog properties for Place Beam, and the ribbon now displays the Placement, Place tab with options for our placement of the beams. On the Placement ribbon, set the placement to top center. For the section orientation, all the offsets can be set to zero. Set the rotation to zero and toggle interactive off. Set place by to grid. On the trim options, toggle on automatic end trim and set the trim option to trim to any interfering member. In the place beam dialog, make sure the selected beam is example beam concrete one. If working in U.S. units, you may wish to add an alternate name of 24 by 24. Set the phase to New Construction. Now for beam placement, you will need to select the grid line separately for each bay so that we get a single beam between each column. Start by selecting grid line 1, 2, 3, and 4 between grid lines E and F. Again, following the prompt, we see we can use the control key to add or remove more grids. Hold the control key down and select the minor grid line between E and F. Now left click to accept the placement and four beams are placed. Now you can repeat the process for each bay, remembering to deselect the minor grid lines. And be aware that where the minor grid lines intersect, there will be multiple grid lines to deselect. This now completes the concrete framing. Next, we'll move to steel framing. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.